Every once in a while you come across those games on Steam, like Cube Chaos, 14 positive reviews, not a lot of reviews. And you scroll and you look at it and you see it's an $8 game, and then you start to read the reviews of the game. It's a hidden gem. This game is the definition of a hidden gem. This game will truly test whether you believe gameplay mechanics are more important than graphics. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Cube Chaos, which is a, a RTS roguelike uh, that, as you saw, some people are really obsessed with this game. Not many of them, <laughs> but some people are very obsessed with this game. And after playing the tutorial, I think I understand why. Let's check it out. Uh, it is definitely the definition of, uh, if you are very into graphics, this is not going to be the game for you. So here's how the game works. Um, we have a class and a species that we will uh, be playing as, and we'll be unlocking more, more classes and more species as we go. So we will start as a priest dwarf, uh, who basically this is our, our leader of our team. And he, every 10 seconds, heals a random damaged ally for 3 HP. Uh, we always start with sturdy stone in our hand, uh, and we'll, we'll see what that is shortly. And then since we are a priest and a dwarf, our stone regenerates HP, uh, 6 HP per minute. So how the game actually plays, you'll see we have a little uh, Slay the Spire-esque grid here, and I, I want to kind of focus on normal battles to start so that we can get used to it. So I'm just going to run straight down the middle. Um, it's basically a, a game against an AI opponent. And, and you can see that on the left over here is my deck, so to speak. It's, it's actions that I can do, and we'll look at what all those are. And on the right is uh, my opponent's deck and actions that they can do. So I, I guess I can, I can choose... Um, I, I'm, I'm actually very confused what the heck is going on here. <laughs> I guess I will just choose... This is to fill out the rest of my stuff, I guess. Um, I, I have... Uh, like, I have a lot of space, so it doesn't really matter. Like, I, I don't need to fill in any of these. I only have five things currently anyway, so I, I suppose I will start. Um, and then let's let's talk about what's going on, because it's a, it's a lot to unpack. I am on the left. This is my leader, okay? And, and players without a leader lose the battle. This is the opponent's leader. So I have to kill the opponent's leader. They have to kill my leader. Um, my leader right now, every two seconds, deals two damage to a touching enemy. Um, every second, it generates one mana. And then every 10 seconds, as we saw, it heals a random damaged ally. Now, it's an RTS game, so I can, I can unpause and it's going to... Uh, start to go. The enemy has this little small warrior slime right here, and you'll see that that's one of his cards that he can play. This warrior slime uh, moves every 0.5 seconds he moves forward. Um, every 40 ticks deals one damage to, to every touching enemy, uh, and then he climbs before this is blocked um, from moving horizontally, move upwards. So he'll, he'll be able to go, once he goes down here, he's going to go across the screen, and then he's going to pop up and go up to here. On the contrary, I have Dwarven Warriors, okay, who every three seconds they move forward and then they deal melee damage. They cannot climb, so when they get to this spot right here, they're going to dig through this stone that exists. Now, I can only place units. You'll see there's like an imaginary line right here. I can only place my units on the left side of my screen, uh, whereas the enemy can only place their units on the right side of the screen. Um, and then everything costs mana and you, you basically play the game. That's, that's the gist. And then we'll be getting more and more things. Where this game really excels is there's apparently like thousands of synergies <laughs> between things. And the amount of content in the game is astronomical for an $8 game on Steam that has 14 positive reviews. Uh, and no negative reviews, I will add. So here's everything that we have. I have a healing container uh, that, that every 10 seconds heals a random damaged ally. Uh, and then it also explodes before it, it dies. So if they ended up getting to my healing container, they would take damage. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. I think you surround your leader in like a bunch of these healing containers and then they're going to be shooting out healing my my allies as we go 
We also have the Shrine to Recovery. Every 10 times an ally heals a cube, this deals 5 damage to a random enemy. So we can use this as a way to uh, deal damage to enemies as well. We have this Excavate, which deals 3 damage to the cube below. Um, so this allows me to kind of dig out a space. And I haven't figured out quite how I want to use or abuse that yet. There were some examples in the tutorial for how I can abuse uh, and use the Excavate, but I, I don't want to bore you with the tutorial. I want to get into the action. And then finally, we have Stone, um, which regenerates itself. And this is basically just a block, right? Um, so I can... It costs 10 mana, so I, I only have 50 mana. And mana regens because of our leader, right? So there's there's a lot going on. Um, we can change how, how fast things go. So we can put it on point one, and you'll see that it's going to move quite slowly here. Um, I would like to pause and make sure that I'm actually playing some of my things. So let's get this down. And then I, I the, the Dwarven Warriors cost 25 to put in. The Shrine to Recovery is 100 to put in. I think we need a couple of these drones. What is this scrappy missile? After this is created, cubes with the same name in your hand cost one less. Every 10 ticks, it moves forward. Uh, before it collides with a non-ally, it dies and deals four damage. Um, it's going to be a problem if they start spamming these down, but I suppose I could do... I could just put up, like, barricades, right? This is where the game gets interesting, is there's a lot of strategies to to win, right? We can kind of... Okay, putting it on 10 times speed, that missile <laughs> very quickly hit. Maybe you play on, on just, like, one speed for right now. Um, I think we want to get up to our 25 mana and then put out a Dwarven Warrior. So you will be fighting me now. Oh, you went right over me. Okay, you're actually just, yeah, you can climb. That's a great point. That's a great point. Um, but my priest is gonna destroy you. So what did you do here? This is a, a drain blood. After this is created, if there is a cube below, add a free blood transfusion to your hand, which heals for the HP of the cube below, then the cube taking damage takes the, okay, well, sure. That's your blood transfusion. Okay, um, and then you also have a healing laser. Every second create a healing laser beam in front. Okay, I here's here's what we gotta figure out. You know, you've got these little slimes, but frankly the little slimes aren't, they're not something I'm too concerned about. I think that getting the shrine in is like a really good idea. Um, and I understand this guy's gonna take some damage. Um, maybe we put it on, on three times speed for right now. I feel like the healing shrine goes goes kind of crazy. Okay, you just sniped me. <laughs> so yeah, you you use this to kill my guy. Interesting. Very interesting. Um let's try to get this blood transfusion altered down. I'm just trying out some some different strategies, right? So we're going to play that. Then we want to to play you're going to launch this missile. I think that there's Good plays in... I haven't figured out what the good plays are, to be perfectly honest. I, I need a way to kill these slimes. They're very annoying. I suppose the excavate I can use to, to kill the slime, right? And it only costs 10 mana. That's actually a really good play. So that 3 damage to the cube below. Everything is a cube in this game. The name of the game is Cube Chaos, right? So we, we want to... We want to make sure that we're we're utilizing our, our cubes here. So I'm going to play this thing right here. And then my plan, I, I mean, frankly, while you're not playing many people, I would love, I mean, we're, we're going to excavate you as soon as you step into my realm. Goodbye. <laughs> I kind of love that plan uh, so far. I'm going to get another one of my healers right here. And then the, the intention is maybe... Uh, we dump out two warriors like back to back in in a second okay that's gonna be a problem can we maybe do a little block right here i love that for me i really do um this is a banger play because now we're protecting those from taking damage um, the slimes we, we still manage. We, we got, we got a plan figured out here. Um, I haven't sent out any, any offense <laughs> and we will. Okay. We will. 
you got a bunch of free blood transfusions that you're you're popping. We're, we're I'm basically just buying time right now. It's it's buy a bunch of time. Um, you're of course gonna send out some some missiles, which makes a lot of sense. Um, this is going to. I need I need some mana before we we can play you. You're you're slowly going up. You're breaking that ground right there. I mean that's that's okay in my opinion. I think three times is a good speed. Ten times is is a little too much. It's a little too much. Let's do this. I'm gonna put one more healing container down. My intention is that once I place my dwarven warriors, I want the healing containers to help manage and like make sure that the the dwarven warriors stay alive. Is is my plan. So let's put you down. Now I'm going to prepare my my dwarven warriors. And I would like to, theoretically, I know this sounds crazy. I'm going to change the speed real quick. Okay, you've launched out that. Let's switch back to three times. We're going to, we're going to plop you right here. Three times is still, this is the, this is the safest, uh, <laughs> this is the safest thing to, to play at. We, we don't want to go too, too crazy. We're just going to wait to be at max mana, and then I'm going to play four dwarves basically simultaneously. And the four of them will march together, and they will take out the 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 place. We kill slimes along the way, too. I'm feeling good. This is, this is a solid strategy that we got here. I am now max mana. I play four dwarves, and then we send it. And they're going to go, they're going to go sicko mode. They're, uh, the party has started. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. They're moving. It's good. Every 10 times an ally heals a cube. Deal 5 damage to a random uh, enemy. It's It's got some big potential. We just need to play another one, right? And it takes 100 mana. So they're digging, they're excavating, they're having a good time. We've lost one of our, our dwarven warriors. Um... It's a shame. The the blood transfusion, it is in fact a, a valid play for the opponent. But this is now where I mean you're technically going to get over here. I'll 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 mix you. Goodbye. They're just having a good time. They're they're digging, they're doing what they need to do. You have blood transfusion me again. Um The the issue is that these guys are actually full HP, so my healers are not doing anything, right? But let's play two more warriors, get them going. It's healing the rocks to um, one HP six times per minute. So we're, we're kind of like, I think we're in a position where this is this is locked down, right? They're, they're never going to get through. Um, and as I send more warriors, I think we're going to find ourselves uh, in a, a pretty good position. I will go ahead and do that to get rid of you. And we're going to walk right towards... Uh, the finish line so this is how the game plays but you're going to see that we're about to be able to add more things to our deck that then synergize and create more chaos and it's it's a fascinating little game and i'm i'm really really enjoying um what i'm seeing so far with it so goodbye xp gained five we love it um and now i select a new cube so the vortex eye this is an add-on after another non-add-on ally is placed it gains all other abilities of this and then loses this ability and dies. Every 10 seconds, you deal one damage to a random enemy. Okay. When another non-add-on ally is placed, it gains all other abilities of this. Then this loses this ability and dies. Okay. So basically, would it become an eye? <laughs> And then my dwarves would be dealing one damage to a random enemy, maybe. Every two seconds, create a duality laser beam in front. I mean, that sounds like a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and then the novelty spirit heal one HP five times per minute after another ally is created. If no other ally with the same name exists in your hand or battlefield, create a copy of it above it. Okay, um, it's interesting. I, I'm really liking the idea of the Vortex Eye, so I'm just going to send it. And we're going to go straight down the middle, I think. I don't know, let's not. Let's, let's go for a weird curse battle. <laughs> Gain more, 10 more gold and a consumable. It's the curse of snow. Every 40 seconds, a random ally creates neutral snow at the top of the map. Okay, sure, we'll, we'll figure this out. So here's a perk that we now get. 
every second any ally in front of your starting leader is healed for one damage. That seems amazing, right, for what we're doing. The first ally placed each battle gains flying. Cubes directly one space below flying allies can't move. <laughs> okay, sure, every two minutes your starting leader applies its poison plus one to all enemy leaders and then loses all poison. I, I, I'm not doing anything with poison. Just give me this. Just give me this. I think that that's completely fine. Let's figure out what the hell a question mark is. Time machine. Okay. I get a lot of choices here. <laughs> you can only flee through time so often before it gets crowded. Sell the future. Um, after I lose a battle, return to the beginning of a new map. But I gain 150 gold. Replicate the present. I gain the paradox clock perk. Every 10 seconds, a second happens for every cube in your hand. Okay, uh, that actually makes sense to me, and it pairs so well with what we just did because every second we heal one, right? So every 10 seconds an extra second occurs, which is an extra heal, I think. <laughs> I think that that's good. I think that's great, um, and I don't have money. So let's, let's take that. I'm terrified, man. I'm going to do the Curse of Snow. Let's see what happens. So now we've added this uh, to our deck. The enemy has all kinds of wacky things going on. You have a, a wall shield congealer. Every three seconds create shield cubes in the shield area in front of this. I see, okay. Uh, we have the mummy, just does damage. It can climb, it gets an extra life. <laughs> okay, it's pretty bad. Um, we got the leader healer. Every 30 seconds, heal a random damage damage ally leader. Um, after this is created, deal 7 damage to every cube, reduced by their distance to this cube. Okay, you got a lot of quick damage, is what I'm, I'm seeing. And then heal potential. After another ally is placed, create a 0 HP simple ant above that cube, then grant the ant or any cube above extra HP equal to the mana cost of the ally divided by 20, brother, what the frick? Okay, um, I mean, look, we're going to play our, our normal game, right? We know what we're doing. It's play one of these, put this in front of it. To be fair, we don't even really need these anymore because you don't have any shooters right so i think what we well but we we do still want this a little bit we want this a little bit because we can treat it as they're also gravity affected we can treat it as a, a wall basically for our eye okay there's the snow falling <laughs> okay Every two seconds, deal one damage to every touching enemy and freeze it. That's horrible. But I can excavate you. You only got three three health. So that's that's actually completely fine. So place down an eye. There's there's issues here. Mummy has uh, seven health. He's going to run into the snow, though. So, like, who cares? I, I think that that's actually fine. That's horrible. Yeah, I didn't realize the snow could fall there. Yeah, so you're going to destroy the snow for me. Let's then hit you for five. Let's hit you for five. You're dead. The Dwarven Warriors are going to be good, but in order for this, this idea to pop... Wait a minute. How the hell are you alive? Because you get an extra life. That's a great point. That's a, that's a good argument. Okay. Now you're, you're actually dead. My eye died. Which is problematic. Let's, let's maybe... I think the snow is what's messing me up here. Which, I mean, it's a curse fight. That's that's kind of what we signed on for. Okay, let's increase time a little bit. Get a lot of mana flowing. There's a bunch of ants going in over there, which is uh, making me... It's terrifying me. Um, okay, I need to... I need to build a little chamber for our recovery shrine, right? I think that this this is a, an interesting play. <laughs> I know that this looks this looks weird, but just just like bear with me. I think that this is this is oddly intelligent. And then you go one, two, three. That kills you, but then you respawn as a, a new man. 
These ants are going crazy too. Luckily the ants have a limited amount of HP. I mean, I'm I'm still I'm spending more time just like making things happen than I am gaining benefit right now, which is probably problematic. So I guess here's here's the plan. I want the eyes. I think the eyes are good. Let's grab some stone. I'm gonna basically stack stone all the way up here. That eye just dies immediately. Yeah, because after another non-add-on ally is placed. So wait, are my stones... I think my stone is shooting the enemy. Oh, frick, dude. Why, they've been over here making a million things, and I'm over here building a wall. That simply cannot be the correct play. Uh, they're bodying me. I'm- I've messed up. I've messed up. I've- I've messed up. Um, I need to- to send out an army, okay? I think- I think we need to- we need to just get some warriors out there and get them to start moving, okay? So get- get me to here. We have lots of heals going on. I think that, that realistically, you, you, you really need to get another, another one of these. My units heal, which is fantastic. I mean, we, we love the heal. We, we hate this. <laughs> okay, you know what? This is fine. Play, play four people. That snow's a little annoying, but they'll, they'll take care of business. You're, you're regening, I think. Yeah, you're gonna regen a bit here and there. Put me back on three times. You know, put me on frickin' ten times. What do I care? S send it. They're, they're gonna deal some damage to these ants. The ants are just kind of annoying. I, I mean, they, I should really do something to the ants. I think I need more... What the hell is Pandora's box? <laughs> After this is created, for each player, add three copies of a random dangerous cube to their hand. Okay, ignore that. We don't... I can't mess around with Pandora's box today. G give me, give me my, my little... My little... Lads here. We, we need to... Protect these. Okay. Can we, like... Can we just surround, like I'm playing Bed Wars in Minecraft, just surround our leader here? And then let's prepare- honestly, we kind of obliterated this. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. Then let's- let's prepare to send out some- some Dwarven Warriors. Frankly, I think that you just send it now. The important thing is sending out these guys as soon as possible. We, we have strength in numbers at this point. Well, we had strength in numbers. <laughs> it's... I, th I, th I think we still have strength in numbers. The important thing... I, I think that the best way to, to handle this... Yeah, we're gonna win. Great, great work, gamers. Just, just strength in numbers. Send it. Great victory. Okay. <laughs> what a mess. What a mess. Um, what are you? Spikes. When there is a neutral cube below, deal 20 damage to it. Then lose this ability gain burrowed. Every two seconds there is a non-allied cube above it. Deal three damage. Okay, it's interesting. Um, it's cheap too, which I, I like. Every second if there is an enemy in one of the two positions in front, deal two damage to all cubes in that position. After this is created, create a random dragon egg below it. Okay, give me the spikes. I think that's good. Select the perk. I only get one. That's fine. Consumable. Gain five gold or automatically lose this when you lose ten or more gold. Sure. That's, that's great. Um, another curse battle seems miserable. Let's just do this. I have my spikes. Let's start. You have a vengeful anthill. Every 14 seconds create an orange ant above. Okay. Um... It's a 40 mana lad. They got some other stuff going on here. I should read it. <laughs> Before an allied leader takes more than zero damage, negate all that damage, deal that much damage to this. Okay, um, a wall with an extra life. 
just becomes another wall. I'm, I'm still not really concerned about this leader so far. Gains 12 energy per minute, five times per second, use an energy to create a bullet in front of this. Okay, that could be scary. And then this, after this is created for every two allies with the same name and exactly one empty space in between, create a copy of the first non-leader ally in between those allies. Brother, I'm not smart enough for this game. I, I have quickly realized that I am, I am not smart enough for, for this game. And that's fine, okay? I, I don't have to be smart enough for this game. I want to try to get my shrine down immediately. There are little ants coming, and they're... They're annoying. Um, it's, brother, they're coming fast. It is making a lot of those ants. Okay, we need our shrine to recovery immediately. Okay, the bullets are a little scary too. There's the shrine to recovery. Then you get down... A couple of healers. It's scary. It's, I mean, it could be worse. It really could be worse. One, two, three. If you just handle it, you're you're in good shape. Okay. Pop you down. You're doing a lot of shooting, my guy. You're doing a lot of shooting. It's a little scary. I'm just going... Oh, my lord. <laughs> okay. Uh, can't help but notice that you have obliterated my wall. So you know what that means? It means that I just build more wall. Those ants are really freaking hard to see, too. Like, my lord, they're tiny. Okay, that is continuing to be really alarming. I need to build a lot of wall. Dude, the ants are... They're freaking annoying. They are annoying. Get out of here. Oh, my stuff all died. Okay, I'm going to lose, I think. <laughs> I, I think that my, my strategy was not good. And playing uh, whack-a-mole with ants, this dude's dead. He's like super dead. Maybe it's... Can, can we get these in? Like, is, is this good enough? My, my bro is hurting. They have so much lined up over here. I mean, maybe, maybe my spikes. Okay, you know what? We, this, we're bringing it back. I do need to make sure I, I can get spikes down. Oh, frick me. <laughs> we can bring it back. We can bring it back. We, we just have to... Oh. <laughs> we can't bring it back, brother. We can't bring it back. I I need... I need to build a wall. I need to build a wall. The spikes are still good. I do not want to Pandora's box. I'm terrified for that. I think that spikes are still... Th this is a really solid way to take care of the ants. Like to build a wall right here. I just need to make sure this guy is surrounded. The ants are now taken care of. Okay? Right? Yeah, they're now taken care of. That's a, that's a hell of a recovery, to be honest. I should have probably uh, known to, to do that. Okay. That's now back down. Maybe you put down a watcher eye. I'm starting to think that the watcher eye was was kind of ass. But it is clobbering people. Let, let's, you know what? Just build it to the sky, brother. Just build it to the sky. You're starting to lose um, spikes. And by starting to lose spikes, you're, you're like really losing spikes. So... Please put back in your spikes. I'm just spamming click at this point, which uh, is fine. It's, it's really completely fine. We, we just have to make sure that we have a backup plan for the ants, okay? You're doing good stuff. Then, here's my next plan. It's eye spam. Because the eye is an add-on, so I can play multiple eyes and they're going to start destroying 
everything on the leader's area. This is this is my this is my current play. Is it good? I don't know. I'm hoping that this just maintains kind of destroying everything they own. I have a hundred mana. Kind of forgot about that. Um, okay. You know what? <laughs> More eyes. I if you if you're gonna play like this, let's play like this. Okay. I'm hoping the eyes are basically able to just whittle away the enemy. All we we really have to do, like it's it's protect the eyes. You just can't play anything else besides an eye right now. But it is actually obliterating the enemy. I I can't believe that this is working. So this this is now an interesting strategy. <laughs> it's an interesting strategy, and it works. I mean, it does literally work. It's it's spam eyes. We no longer have dwarves as uh, an even unit that we need to play. It's just like you don't have any ant hills, so my spikes are are useless now. It's it's just wait for the eyes to to kill the the enemy. An interesting play, perhaps. Dude, this is this is why this game is is interesting. It requires a lot of brain power, which I'm. We all know that I I can't read and I'm kind of stupid, so it's difficult for me to. The hell went on up there? Oh, that was the filling in that he had. It's difficult for me to to play games like this, but you can't deny that they're they're doing something really fascinating with this, where there's a there's so many ways to win that you can kind of just experiment, mess around, and like, I never thought that we were, one, I thought we were gonna lose, but I never thought that this was gonna turn into me creating an eye tower to <laughs> to kill the enemies. It's so good. Okay, um, another eye, what the hell? After a cube moves, this gains energy. Every second of this has more than 50 energy. Lose 50 energy and deal a damage to a random enemy. Um, this is not, good enough for what we're doing every 30 seconds heal every ally for one hp this is decent mana storage after this is created gain 40 max mana yo i actually love that i i think i love that then give me another perk after your stone dies add a free rough gravel to your hand okay i think that's good every minute create one damage down laser beam at the top of the world in each column with an enemy that sounds awesome for, for this. Uh, after an ally takes damage, swaps position. I think this... Well, no, we, do, we, can't, we don't want to do that because we want to basically create a tower wall. We want to create a spike layer, then create a tower wall, and then spam eyes. And then this will take care of any other enemies. Uh, this is a boss battle, which I'm terrified about. Uh, but sure, let's, let's send it. <laughs> let's send it. Um... Okay, so what is the plan, and what the hell are you? You're a snow knight. You charge forward, dealing damage to things that touch you. Um, I'm gonna play a place down a spike. You have uh, the extra life wall, that's fine. After this takes damage by a non-ally, deal a damage back. It's annoying. Um, that is annoying. Sky platform, after this is created, if this wasn't created by a cube with the same name, create a copy to both sides. Heal. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm not that concerned. This, does, this doesn't break a lot of what I'm doing. Uh, I would like to start by by building out a a lane of spikes. Like this. This is a a large part of what we're doing with taking care of of this guy. And I think that if we have like six layers of this, he should be taken care of. Right? Okay. Then you start the process of the Great Wall, okay? The the Great Wall exists, and it's it's here, and it's scary. And every minute we get the one damage beam. The Great Wall is doing fantastic. Oh, that Mortar Blast is a pain. We need to get some healers in as well, okay? Let, let's prepare for that, because that's going to be annoying, you doing that. 
So now you you can heal. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be frustrating. Okay, the, the borders are are very annoying. Can I can I build a wall high enough to block the border? Nope, it just goes right over it. Are you dying? Well, you're like chilling. I mean, the Great Wall, it's an intriguing idea. You know what? It is it is blocking it. I'm just going to keep it going. I'm just going to keep it going. The healers are, are now healing the wall. So the mortars are not an issue because I've created the Great Wall. That's a great... <laughs> well, okay. It was good. I'm going to continue the Great Wall. Okay, I know that you're looking at this and you're like, Tyler, you are, you are building something that is weird. Okay, I'm with you. I'm building something weird. This game encourages you building something weird. So I think it's good. I need to go four layers deep on this though, for it to be the most beneficial it can be, I think. And I need to make sure I'm putting healers back here because your mortars are going to continue to grow more and more and more i won oh because my every minute falling from the sky killed their leader <laughs> of course it did that makes a lot of sense yeah every five seconds a random ally gains an extra hp I really don't think I need that, but maybe I do. Uh, this is why this game is fantastic. Every second, throw the cube behind this. Upwards and forwards in an arc. After it lands, it dies a minute later. Brother, what is this? When there is a neutral cube below, deal 20 damage to it. Lose this ability, gain burrowed. Okay, I'm taking the Summer Shrine, and we're seeing where things go. So here's our shop now. I got no clue what, what I'm doing. Um, so I can gain this perk again. Is that how that works? <laughs> I mean, that doesn't seem like that should be how that works. Um, I also cannot afford this. I'd be in the negative. Every second, any ally in front of your starting leader is healed for one damage. That's really good. Right? That's really good. The gate half the damage allies with less than half HP would take. These are curse perks. After an enemy is created, it gains vengeance, dealing one damage to any cube which kills them. Uh, after an ally is... So th these give me money. I understand. Um, I mean, I, I love the idea. After an ally is placed, every other ally with the same name deals 0.5 <laughs> damage to it. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Every 20 seconds, add a free spark cube to your hand. I don't know. Am I crazy to think that I don't really want any of this? Like, this, I guess, is, is good. Plus deck size. I, I don't really need. Just send me into my next, next arena. We're not going to go... Um, too long here i know we're at 38 minutes on the episode i, I want to do one more fight and then see what the upgrade your perks is and then we're going to call it for this episode but I, I might play more i think that nobody's going to watch this i think that you you are sitting here and you're like tyler this game is dope as hell and i never want to see it ever again and i think that that's actually completely fair <laughs> I, I think that's completely fair what is this a fractal explosion sure why not uh, it's ant hills. We know what to do with ant hills. We play spikes. Okay. We we know you're gonna spam ants. The best way to to deal with ants is with a lot of spikes. Okay. You also have a weird laser beam that is just digging out the earth, and that's respectable. It is. But have you considered that I could just build the Great Wall to uh, Cube Chaos China? Perhaps you haven't considered it, but I'm here to tell you we're going to consider it, okay? Now, you are digging out. That, that's going to be a problem, okay? It's going to be a problem. I think what we would really like to do, we're, we're going to get a couple of healers in just to ensure that our, our spikes are maintained. My every minute things fall from the sky is so useful. I think you're already in eye territory, man. 
I, I think that we, it's kind of, we, we have to build until we are confident in our investment. Um, and I'm, I'm confident. I think that the eyes are, are ready. It's going to get a little, oh, they, they placed a weird thing over there. <laughs> you see that thing just going crazy on the bottom? I feel like he's a small issue, but I think that we're already completely fine. I can't believe that my strategy is working. I have no clue what I'm doing. I, I, I hope that you all understand that. That I am basically completely and utterly lost with what my game plan is. Well, let's not go that far. I know that my game plan is create a tower of stone in the sky and then fill it with eyes. Which, whether or not that's a viable strategy remains to be seen, but it's doing great so far, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I think that there's better strategies that I could, uh, could figure out. But it's hard to be mad at it. It is hard to be mad at it. It's doing some amazing stuff here. So, with, with the eyes, <laughs> after another non-add-on ally is placed, it gains all other abilities of this, and then it loses this ability and dies. I still don't fully understand what that means. I know that it dies, but it is the... When the non-ally is placed, it gains all other abilities of this. So, the, the, uh, the thing will gain the one damage per second. So, if I played, like one summer shrine, right? Will the summer shrine do like 20 damage to a random enemy every 10 seconds? Is that how that works? I suppose it's something we'd have to experiment with. Every second apply 20 poison to every enemy in the shield area in front of this. Every second, we, we've seen this one. Regen 3, heal 1 HP 3 times per minute. Every 20 seconds, create neutral liquid slime. Um, I guess the flamethrower is, is a decent play for me. Um, let's upgrade our perks. I, I really think that the best upgrade is this. I can't afford it. I can't afford any of these, dude. Frick me. I would love to go in debt. Is it possible to go in debt? I don't know. Um, every minute create an orbital laser wasp at the top of the world in each column. I love the spelling of column. <laughs> Just notice that with an enemy except it only gets to fire four lasers due to dying after 40 ticks. I, I don't understand what that means. Um, it's clearly an upgrade, right? Your hand is a part of the world. At the start of the battle, remove leader from each cube in your hand. What the hell? Okay. Um, okay. I'm in debt. That seems bad. There are consequences for being in debt. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah it works for me. What do I got in my inventory? It's just my stuff. I will leave. Um, curse of wages. At the start of each battle, lose a gold for every cube in your hand. <laughs> I mean, that seems pretty bad, too. Probably shouldn't have done that. I don't know. Let's go again. Let's go again. Um, what do you got? Ant hills? Uh, you, you got giant flies that are flying. You have song of rats. Okay. Because of the rats... Uh, you're you're kind of scary. Because of the rats, we, we are going to need spikes. And I think that it's it's always safe to just put down, like, eight, nine spikes. And then that kind of, you see, here come the rats, and the spikes are just taking care of them. So, I think that this is, this is lovely. Um, I can't help but feel that I'm getting obliterated. What are you doing? The abduction teleporter. Teleports a random non-leader enemy. Interesting. Something's going sicko mode. I'm, I'm not gonna question it. I'm just gonna let it rip. Okay. I think we're fine. Give me this shrine. Then Yeah, you're doing you're doing fine. Then you're going to give me Dude, it's just they're 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 going insane. They're going absolutely insane. Then give me these. Then start the great wall. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about those flies, but honestly, oh my god, that's so many rats, man. 
There's so many rats, but who cares when I got spikes that are uh, absolutely insane? Okay, good wall. Um, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's it's eye time. I've never been more ready for eye time. They are stealing my stone, which is just a question mark. Like, do they realize that the stone is is just stone? You should steal this thing that's granting like a million HP to my units right now. These eyes take a long time to put in though. We will win. <laughs> I have all the confidence in the universe. The the strategy is unbeatable. Okay. It's going fine. It's going, it's going great, really. Just another eye. Every every second going crazy. And keep in mind that this is so every 10 seconds. We also have where every, every uh, 10 seconds a second happens. So theoretically these guys, it's like every nine seconds they, they pop off or, or something like that. It's it's slightly better. So here here's what I want to try now. Um, if I play another Sun Shrine, all of the eyes disappear. Does it? Yeah, it's doing 16 damage to a random enemy per second. Okay. That's pretty sick, all things considered. So we can invest in like one unit being insane, which frankly is not a good idea for this run. Um, because, well, at least not for this fight, because they can steal this unit and then I'm getting messed up by it, man. Which would be funny. I mean, it'd be absolutely hilarious, but it's a terrible idea. And this is one damage to 16 random units, which is different than 16 damage to one unit. Um, the the sound is is fantastic. Okay, you're you're just having a good time. Every 10 sec, yeah, okay. <laughs> it just works. I mean, it just works, and that's that's what's fantastic about it. Okay, um. Heal 1 HP 8 times per minute every second. Heal the cube below. I don't mind this as an idea. Um, we could basically, like, heal our leader or heal, like, one of our units that is... Sure, right? <laughs> heal 1 HP 8 times per minute. After you take damage by a non-ally, deal 2 damage back. Uh, you know what? I like this. I think it's fine. Trading license only works outside of battles. Click to activate this. Click on another non-curse perk inside your inventory to sell it for its value in gold. I still am cursed, for the record. Um, get curses and perks in equal measure. Give me a random event. Um, buy a ring. Gives a non-leader two strength. Who cares, to be honest? Um, I'll just help out, get a little money, and get out of curse world that we're in. Um, give me the perk chest. After an ally is created, your starting leader deals one damage to it and grants it one max HP. We don't care. Before an allied leader takes damage from mana burn. Or deals damage to allies, two damage are negated. Uh, sure. Every two times enemies take damage, the damage enemy also loses a max HP. That seems fun. Especially when I hit with, like, piddly shots the whole time. That seems like a lot of fun. Now, I am forced to make a decision. Um, I can't have everything that, that we have, including the flamethrower. I technically probably should have uh, gotten rid of that. The mana battery, to be honest with you, it ain't doing anything. So so give me the flamethrower. I don't think that we're changing a lot of how we're, we're doing things here. That is going to hit me right now. Okay, it's still important for us to have excavate so we can do things like that and, and get rid of that. Do you have units that are crawling? No, you mainly just have these bolts, which are annoying. Yeah, 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 yeah. So no, no crawling lads. Um, frankly, it's, it's build a wall immediately time. And, and it's not even build a wall immediately, um, so much as we, we probably need to get these units down pretty quick so that they can heal our walls, right? And I think they're doing a good job at it so far. 
Um, game lagged a little bit. Don't, just don't worry about it, okay? It's processing a lot with uh, my Great Wall of China that I'm building. So this is a lot of healers. Um, I think we're just like in a standstill with the game right now. Now give me a bunch of eyes. My plan is that we're going to... Um... Okay, my walls are starting to, to have some issues. They're starting to have a lot of issues. They're having a lot of issues, brother. Okay. You're going to... Shrine of Recovery here. Then you're going to get back to, to building walls. Okay. Just, just maintain your walls. Your Shrine of Recovery is hitting enemies right now. Which is what you, you want to, to see. There is a lot of damage flowing in, um, but it's it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Everything is completely fine. Um, right? Yeah, it's completely fine. Now that you've created a, a semi-decent wall to China, I think that you build more of these to heal those walls even quicker and just guarantee. And then this, this is going to deal five damage to a random enemy a lot. It is taking damage, which is why I want to put a hard hat above you. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a guarantee it is never going to die. I mean, we're, we're like locked down right here. I'm, I'm feeling very good about this. We can put down a shrine to continue to just grow the HP of all of these. The problem right now, we're not doing any damage to, to enemies. But that's going to all change right now. So, as the eyes come in, <laughs> they start to hit the enemies. And, uh, it's all going to go great. It's all going to go great. More Shrines of, of Sacrifice as well, um, would be good. Slash Shrine to Recovery. You knew what I meant. Okay. That's going to take over and have five eyes worth of power. But now it's going to continue like these are just going to hit. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> I'm kind of cracked, I think, um, even though I don't understand what I'm doing. After a cube is created, touching this, grant that cube a random bonus. That seems terrifying. Heal every second, deal two damage to every touching enemy and neutrals. Only allies can move backwards. <laughs> the prison warden. The wandering curse. After a cube below dies, it creates a wandering curse above a random ally of it, which has space above it. I don't know. The warden is, like, cool. The chaotic thing is strange and probably bad. I'm going to take this. I'm going to go to the shop. I'm going to... After an ally is created, it deals one damage to every enemy in its column. That's not that good. Okay. Um... I can't afford any of these. I can afford this, I guess. At the start of battle, all cubes in your hand gain after this is created deals one damage to a random enemy. That's pretty sick. Okay. Only works outside of battles encounter a random event. Just give me this. All right. Just give me that. That's fine. Um, start of battle, a random cube in your hand, which has infinite uses, has its cost increased by half. I could do that and then take, like, <laughs> this is wild. Are you seeing the cost of this? Getting a copy of every non-unique perk in your inventory? This is pretty, pretty busted. Um, just, just leave. And then I choose a curse. <laughs> That's disgusting. Every 20 seconds, the opponent gains one max mana and one mana for each perk I have. That's pretty bad. Start a battle, each allied leader deals three-fifths of its HP in damage to itself. Sure. I, that's not that bad, to be honest. And now I'm in a, another node. I got no clue how long this goes. So we have to call it. <laughs> we have to call it. What a weird little game um, that I think I love, but I also think I maybe never play ever again. Because um, I think it's too big brain for me. But I implore you to check it out. Uh, you can find this on Steam, link in the description down below. Um, Cube Chaos, what a game. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.